Hello guys, welcome to Fired Up Coffee Sessions. I'm glad you're here and I'm excited for today's session. Do you have your coffee ready? Pag may kape na kayo, comment lang. I, I have my coffee ready or my tea or whatever merienda that you have. I'm excited to impart with Hello you. Hello guys, welcome to All right, Fired Up so Coffee Sessions. I'm excited to impart with you today's topic because... Of course, it's not only me who's going to share with you how to overcome procrastination. Diba? We will solve this together, those who are attending this Fired Up Coffee session, because uh, coffee, over coffee, you have to have a conversation, right? And we we're trying to find solutions for our motivational problems every day, because when we are motivated, it's easier for us to, to reach our goals. So for the meantime, just comment below where you're where you are from. Uh, say hi. Hi, brother Ron. Good morning once again. Uh sabi ni brother Ron. I'll show to you his, his comment. Uh good morning from Doha. I like and hate your topic today. It's it's like we have a one-on-one -on -one today. <laughs> All right. So I see the, the relevance of this topic sa buhay ni my brother Ron, okay, Meren Celia, thanks for that comment, bro. I love and hate your topic today. We hate it because we don't want to face it, that we are procrastinating in so many things. But at the same time, we love it because we want to solve it. All right. So uh, earlier, I was uh, preparing my, my points to share about overcoming procrastination. Really, it... it also hits me it's like i'm talking to myself also because there are certain things that we keep on putting off or i keep on putting off so this will be helpful to me especially your comments will be helpful to me so i'll, I'll show to you now the question of the day all right so the question of the day is now there it's being shown below and uh perhaps i will uh, make it um not scroll but really showed shown okay there you go question of the day why do you think we procrastinate how can we overcome it all right so think of the reasons why we procrastinate as, as a human race or you your your personal your personal struggle what what keeps you from doing that one thing that you're supposed to do that's been bothering you for a long time perhaps it's not hard to do but it's easy but it's it's like it's bothersome right but you don't want to do it so try to type below in the comments your ideas why do you think we procrastinate and what are the ways that we can overcome procrastination okay carmelita Bagamano, I'd like to show you <laughs> challenging topic. Yes, it's very challenging because no one is exempted of this. Uh, even me, even perhaps everybody has their own uh, guilt in in procrastinating something na at work or even in our family matters or important matters in life. We've been putting off certain projects. We've been putting off certain tasks. Ano pa? No? So it's a very challenging topic. Yes, thanks for that comment. Carme, Carmelita. Yes. All right. So who else has a who else has a comment? Or perhaps you want to start answering the question so we can already have our fired up coffee session. Hello, guys, to those who are watching. I see here. Matthew Barba is watching. Hello. Nakikita ko si uh, uh, Kuya Rod Tolentino is watching also. Uy, yung asawa ko nanonood. Wow. Okay, I better be <laughs> I better be careful of what I'm saying here. <laughs> All right. So, guys, uh, just comment below because, again, this is a conversation. And uh, here is the, for those who just came in, this is the question of the day. Why do you think we procrastinate? How can we overcome it? Or if you're bold, what are the things you're procrastinating? 
<laughs> what are you putting off for tomorrow? Then when when tomorrow comes, you will put it off for tomorrow. Then soon you 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 realize that it's already been a month that you've been saying I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Let me hear your comments, or perhaps just say hi and uh, just just tell me where you're from before we dive into the topic deeper because the purpose of this fired up coffee sessions is really conversation it's really interaction kasi we are in quarantine <laughs> nasa quarantine tayo and normally nagkikita tayo let's have coffee let's talk so i miss that ako mismo i, I miss having coffee with friends with uh, brothers and sisters from CFC and uh, business partners na nakakamiss. So I'm trying to relive it by having coffee uh, this afternoon. All right. So, yes. So, Edson, you're watching. Thanks for watching. All right. So, kape muna. Ano bang brand ng coffee nyo? What are you drinking right now? Ako, di ko pwede sabihin yung brand. Baka sabihin promotion, no? Sponsored. <laughs> Or pwede, pwede, no? So, coffee brands, pwede kayong mag-sponsor ng isang session, ng part of session. Alright, so, so guys, let's, uh, let's dive into the topic of overcoming our procrastination tendencies. Great. Sige, allow me to, allow me to begin. Yun. So, yes, so again, our topic is overcoming procrastination. Yung mga, what we always delay for tomorrow. And uh, the question, the, the, the big question that we want to uh, solve today is why we do it? Why, we, why do we procrastinate uh, when it seems uh, it, it's, it, it destroys our, our pursuit for our goals? It's the one thing that hinders us from reaching our goals we want to achieve something in life a certain uh, a certain uh, financial stability or a certain uh, a certain uh, endeavor that we've always wanted to finish a book that we've always wanted to write uh, a facebook page that we've always to want to launch a, a website so why are we keeping on delaying it if we know these are the things that can bring us the success that we want okay so, uh, Yoti is saying, Ouch! <laughs> Seems this topic is really for me. I have started a lot of things, pero di matapos-tapos. An accountability partner will be a great help to go on. Oh, wow. I love that answer. Accountability partner. Okay, for those who have spouses, maganda, asawa nyo, accountability partner nyo. But for those in business, uh, it really helps to have an accountability partner. Uh, I remember this story about uh, the jogging partner, you know, this, this jogging partner, and uh, the, the, the two who were jogging side by side were, were just going mile after mile, and the one person looked at the other and said, parang hindi napapagod, parang he doesn't seem to be, become tired. Then he didn't know that the other person who was jogging was also looking at that other person and saying, parang hindi siya napapagod. And that motivated the both of them to go farther. Sabi nga nila, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. All right, so thanks for that uh, wonderful suggestion, Yoti. Great, awesome. Sabi naman ni uh, Via Imperial. Sabi niya, wow, good morning, Kuya. Very interesting to these days. Diba? It's, it's actually ironic that we are talking about procrastination when we have actually all the time during lockdown. <laughs> we have all the time to do it, but hindi pa natin ginagalaw. More than one month na ang lockdown. Pero, pero we're not finishing that project we're supposed to finish. Right? So, <laughs> all right, so... Si Carlo naman, yung solusyon niya sa pag... <coughs> yung kanya sigurong pinoprocrastinate. Hindi ko alam kung solusyon to or pinoprocrastinate mo, Carlo, yung exercise. 
Ouch! Maraming guilty sa atin dito. Okay. So, we've been wanting to go to the gym. Ngayon, may excuse. Well, may quarantine, right? But we, maybe we've always been wanting to stay healthy, stay fit, or start that diet. But we've been procrastinating. Oh my gosh! All right. So, wow! Dumadami na ang umaattend ng ating fired up coffee session. Yung iba, nagtitimpla pa ng kape. And while waiting for them, ano tayo? Kape muna. All right, guys. So uh, I'm I'm glad to know that this is a topic that you can relate with. No, na, na lahat tay na karelit nito. Uh, ouch na ouch, di ba? In in fact, these are one of the top things that I'm trying to address. Here's a fired up life. Kasi kung fired up ka, you're passionate about things. You have to Take immediate action, okay? All right, so, uh, right, I, I like this comment by uh, brother, well, si Don Don Villate. Hi, brother Kirby, it's nice topic po. Puro plano, mingas <laughs> All right, this is a, a Filipino trait I've learned in my grade school years, mingas <laughs> kugon, diba? Uh, we, we always put something off for later, so, Don Don Pala is from Qatar. Great. Alex says, others are using the lockdown as reason to procrastinate. <laughs> oh my God. Nako, Alex, ang daming matatamaan dito. Pati ako, pati siguro lahat ng mga na, 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 uh, nanonood dito. It, it can, it can, it, it really drives home a point, right? Because uh, I, I'm not doing it because it, we're on lockdown, right? So great. Amazing. Thanks for this uh, high level of involvement for from everybody in in, in uh, contributing to this topic. Now I'm, I'm so fired up. I'm so excited to share with you some certain ideas that, that can probably help you. And again, I'm not limiting the ideas with me as, a, as the speaker, so to speak, as the speaker in this session. But I'd like to really learn more. In fact, hindi pa nagsasimula yung aking five ways to overcome procrastination. I'm already learning so many things that are not in the in the framework of what I thought how we can overcome procrastination. Sabi naman ni, uh, ni Alex de no? Palusot. Marami tayong palusot sa buhay. Kaya hindi natin na, kaya meron tayong mga procrastinating tendencies. All right, so thanks for these comments, guys. Amazing. I want to honor you for, for just showing up. This is my officially my fourth live session. The first one was an experiment. I called it Part of Life Live. And officially, this is episode three of the Fired Up Coffee Sessions because it's so natural for us to just have to take a break at 3 o'clock and have some coffee. All right. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. Uh, before we dive into the topic, or at least my suggestions, uh, I, I would like to propose a best comment contest. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, I, I proposed a mug fee contest. Okay, mga nahihirapan ng ating mga subscribers. Uh, with the mug fee contest, so I'm, I'm proposing it back to best comment contest. Okay, number one, instruction. Do your best to answer the question of the day. Why do you think we procrastinate and how we over, How can we overcome it? So, gawa kayo ng essay. Gawa kayo ng tatlong paragraph. <laughs> Isipin niyo yung sagot niyo kasi it will help you. If, if, you, if you answer the question, it will help you. And at the same time, it will help all of those who are logged on today online. Not only the live part, but also the replay part. Okay, so the criteria for judging, uh, length and usefulness of answer lang po. Napaka-simple. Length and usefulness of answer are the criteria. Uh, I, I like long answers because it really brings out the talent, the writing talent in you. doesn't have to be perfect grammar. Uh, pwedeng Tagalog, pwedeng, pwedeng Visayan. Kasi I, I, I speak Visayan. Uh, pwedeng English, whatever, right? So, wag, wag lang yung hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> okay, so length and usefulness of answer are the criteria. Number three, 
I'll choose the best answer at 12 o'clock midnight. And ito yung price. No? The price is my brand new online course, Fired Up Life Blueprint course, and the value of this is 2,000 pesos. Parang namigay, na, parang namigay ko ng 2,000 dito, but the value that you will be getting is my Fired Up Life Blueprint course. And that course is all about teaching you how to become self-motivated by following a framework, a blueprint that I created and published through my book. All right, so sana sumali kay sa best comment contest. And uh, the last winner of the best comment contest was actually, is actually watching right now, si Via. Hi, Via. Congratulations. Ikaw ang defending champion. <laughs> okay, ikaw ang defending champion. I hope you're enjoying my part of speakers course because that's what I was giving out the last time. All right. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let me suggest to you five ways to overcome procrastination. Kung okay sa inyo itong topic na to, kung okay sa inyo itong, itong five ways to overcome procrastination, just, just comment a thumbs up or a fire logo. Bala na po kayo. Or a coffee logo. Anything that would uh, let me know that, that, that you like this uh, topic. All right. So let's go. Let's move forward. First is, these are I, what I think are the reasons why we procrastinate. And let's see if you can relate with this. First is that we have a, a tendency to move away from pain. Diba? Human beings, anything that can cause us pain, we go away. We shy away. We do not like to do it. We do not like to be near it. Of course, Pag may umaapoy dyan, syempre mapapasok ka, you go away from pain. That's very natural for us as human beings. And perhaps the tasks that we have been procrastinating is, is painful for us. It is, it is very taxing for us, right? And per perhaps hassle siya. No, we're, 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 it's not hustle, but hassle <laughs> in, to our lives. And it, just the thought of that task, whatever it is, makes you cringe uh, and the reason why we also procrastinate because it's not yet on fire it's not yet burning hindi pa siya crisis okay it's important that we do these things but the problem is it's not yet a crisis okay you understand then you you realize later on when that thing that you have been procrastinating is now on fire you, you start to, to solve the crisis na nag-ano ka na, nag-firefighting ka na, right? So we become crisis managers. I quote this from Stephen Covey. Na, nagiging crisis managers tayo because we don't uh, address the problem early on, although we know that it is important. Okay, so look at, look at your, 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 current, your, your current things that you have been procrastinating. Okay pa siya eh. Pwede pa siyang hindi i-address today. But balang araw, darating din na yung problema na yan, lalaki at lalaki na yan, at kakainin tayo, and we have to head it face on. Alright? So, what are we procrastinating? So, we are also afraid to face the task. No? We're afraid to face the task. No? May typo error ng konti dyan. We're afraid to face the task. Uh, Parang ano siya, yung mga kalaban ni Goliath na takot, takot sa kanya lahat. And then David was the only one who was so so daring to face Goliath. No? Perhaps that task for you is Goliath. Napakalaking problema niya. No? Napakalaking suliranin. It's a, it's a task we don't want to face. But uh, unless we have the heart of David, we can face that task. So th this, these are the reasons why we procrastinate. Okay, just for me, maybe you can think of other reasons why why we procrastinate. All right, so since we've identified the problem, allow me to give you at least five solutions to address this. I hope this is okay with you because I want to add value to your day, to your quarantine period, and uh, I hope that in my own little way, because I'm a nurse, I'm a doctor, Hindi ako, hindi ako nag-deliver ng goods. No, but what I do is I give talks. So ito na yung the best way that I think that I can help everyone in this situation is to go on live every day at 3 o'clock and 
to do my best to come up with a framework or a solution to a problem that we may have uh, with regards to motivation. Right, number one, list down all the things you have been procrastinating. Yan, painful yan, painful gawin yan. <laughs> Just to list them down, nakakagilty na. But, but it is therapeutic. As, as they say, writing is therapeutic. You know, uh, minsan pag di natin kasi sinulat on paper, in our imaginations, those those problems, those tasks become big. Sobrang laki niya. Parang, di ba, our imagination can go far and wide. So, iniisip natin yung problema yan, yung task na yan, lumalaki siya sa isipan natin. But when we put it on paper, it becomes limited. It becomes identified. Right? When we're able to identify these things, bahala ka na kung 20, list of 20 things siya, just as long as you can identify it. Just like when you go to a doctor, you, Doc, I feel something inside me. I don't know what it is. Right? Tapos, you procrastinate going to the doctor. Tapos, ang dami mo nang naiisip, cancer na siguro to, or ano-ano na tong sakit na to. Then, then sana wal, wala ka naman cancer, pero dahil pin pinrocastinate, nagkaroon tuloy ng, ng something because of the worries di ba? That, that we're having in our brains na nag-effect nag sa ating katawan. No? So, it becomes a crisis later. So, when you, when, you, when you go to a doctor, then the doctor says, let's have a test and we, I, we, let's identify the problem at sasabihin sa inyo. Uh, kulang lang po kayo sa vitamin C or something like that. No? And we get relieved. No? Uh, you, you just need to do these certain exercises. And even if it was a, a, a very difficult disease na sinabi ng doktor, at least ngayon, you know what you're facing. The same way if you list down all the things you have been procrastinating. So, get a clean sheet of paper. No? Baka ka ng, baka ka ng papel. Like this, no? kawa ka ng papel, tapos sulat mo. No? Punuin mo yung papel ng mga bagay na hindi mo ginagawa, <laughs> na dapat natin ginagawa. Alright. So, list down all the things you have been procrastinating. List as many things. Don't be afraid. Have courage at least to list them down. And you, you see, you will feel and realize that when you list it down, parang you have won at least one fourth of the battle because you're you're already facing them. Nilalagay mo sa papel, you're limiting these tasks to this to this uh, few phrases that you've put on paper, and now you're saying, This is what I have to overcome. These things I have to overcome. All right. So this is tip number one or way number one. Okay, the second way, the second way is. Choose the easiest to address and build momentum. In terms of your the things that you're procrastinating, syempre may degrees of difficulties yan. May madali lang, may sobrang hirap, and there are uh, problems that are really, it, it will take years for you to solve, right? So my idea here is to choose the easiest to address and and build momentum. No? Is, it, is it just about... Fixing your fixing your cabinet, not the easiest to address. Fixing your your clothes, tapos taking out the clothes you don't need. That's something that you just have to put what 30, 30 to forty five minutes into your life, and and do it and uh, and solve it right. And and the, the empowerment here is that when you tick off or you check off one of the things in your list, it is very empowering. Now, that's where you get momentum. You, you build momentum from there. Nagkakaroon ka ng self-confidence and ito, dignity. Dignity that you are being brave, that you're addressing your concerns, that you're addressing the problem. So choose the easiest to address and build momentum rather than, of course, getting stuck into this, facing this very big problem na wala namang solution pa today uh, and uh, you, you end up just, just going away again, going away from the pain and putting it off for later. Okay, so yun yung number two. Choose the easiest to address and build momentum coming from there. Number three, don't rely on your emotions 
to do the task. Okay? Rely on your will. All right. So, syempre, we don't feel like doing it. That's the reason why we procrastinate. I don't like to do this today. Sige. So, it's really about just how we feel. But we have to pers we have to to impose our will. Okay? Yung will, yung yung the, the capacity to decide in our heads, the capacity to do things even if it is difficult because you willed it, you have to do it. Then, you know what? Sometimes it's just the first the first thing that's hard to do. Yun lang yung mahirap sa yung simula lang as they say in yung simula lang yung mahirap but when you actually start to be doing it you will be in the flow of things and you'll be unstoppable okay so don't rely on your emotions to do the task <laughs> muna don't rely on it muna okay rely on your will and your capacity to to address these things and to face these things with with a lot of bravery and courage on your end next number 4 ito kasi may mga problema talaga na Ang hirap, na ang hirap isolve, ang hirap i-overcome. So ask God to help you face your tasks. Diba? Because the fire of life is all about becoming passionate about your faith and about your work. My message really here is a lot of people love serving the church. A lot of people love God, but they hate doing their work. Okay, so it, the, the, the impact should be when you love God, you want to serve people and you want to actually become responsible for what you're doing so faith and work so ito you know god ask god to help you face your task kasi sa totoo lang sa kanya naman ang gagaling ng ating last now it, our strength comes from the lord our strength and inspiration comes from him okay next ito to masaya reward yourself for taking action why because when when you're able to overcome one thing, ano lang, just reward yourself with a little treat. I don't know what what the treat is for you, you know. Uh, for for me, it's it's as simple as <laughs> sabi ko sana drinking coffee, but I'm already drinking coffee. But for me, uh, for if if this is was this was not a quarantine period, if I'm able to overcome a task, ang gusto ko gusto ng gusto kong ginagawa is to buy a book. Bumibili akong libro, muta ako ng National Fully Book. Then I buy a book and it makes me so happy kasi may babasahin na naman ako. <laughs> Parang pang nerd, no? Pero uh, that's how I reward myself. And it, it motivates me to do other tasks that I've been delaying and procrastinating. Okay, so what what are the things that you can still suggest na maybe you have a certain secret ingredient on of, on how you motivate yourself and how you overcome procrastination share nyo naman dyan no? okay um see si carlo I'd like to show what carlo is saying very active dito sa ating fired up coffee session self-meditating right i always think that there is always a next time May bukas pa. <laughs> Yun yung reason. <laughs> Nag-self-meditate na. Uh, so may, may bukas pa. Parang napanood ko na yan, bro. Ah. Parang may replay ngayon yan <laughs> on, uh, in, in one of the channels. May bukas pa. No? <laughs> so, <laughs> alright. So, thanks, Carlo. Uh, Alex Cashon saying, just like holding the bull by its horn. Yes, yung, yung talagang ano. Yung, yung will natin. Yung, it, kasi yung bull, di ba? Uh, nakakatakot. But I like your metaphor. Uh, thanks. Thanks for this, uh, Alex. No? Yung metaphor niya. Like holding the bull by its horn. Talagang tapangan natin. Gawin natin to. So that we can move forward with our goals. Just to let you know, even this live streaming for me is a product of my procrastination. Because I've started with a fired up life book probably three years ago, then I would always say, sana mag, magkaroon ako ng courage to go live. Then after three years, finally ginawa ako. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what, it's for me, I've been procrastinating this also. So I thank God that, that this is uh, an opportunity for me to finally do it, to finally hold the bull by its horns and do this Facebook live. And dami kong natutunan ever since I launched this uh, platform. Ang dami ko naging bagong kaibigan because of this. 
Okay. So, who else, no? Uh, ayan. Wala ba sa wall, no? Post nyo din po yung top five na yan sa wall po ninyo. Ah, okay. That's a good idea, no? Kasi for, for some who cannot attend this uh, uh, fired up coffee sessions, they, they miss out. But for some very busy, cannot watch it for 30 to 45 minutes. Now, I can make a square graphic and put five things there. And maybe people can still be blessed by doing that. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Anna Rose. Napaka-faithful ni Anna Rose dito sa ating... Uh, Fired up coffee sessions. Great. Also, no, fired up Thursday po, brother Kirby. Yes. Thanks for uh thanks for logging on, Remanuel. Muki. Okay. Further, uh, Anna Rose saying, tamang mindset and perseverance. Look for the reward after. Right. Great. Those are awesome uh, suggestions and comments. Great. So, okay, so right now. Ano na tayo, no? We are 31 minutes into the show and I'm limiting this to 45 minutes kasi syempre, it's just a break, a coffee break and I'm gonna do this every day. By the way, kung may mga suggestions kayo, the things that will help you become self-motivated to become fired up or problema sa pagiging fired up, no? our concerns of becoming fired up, baka meron kayong suggestion ng topic so I can address it tomorrow or the next week. Now, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, wala po tayong fired up coffee sessions kasi weekend siya uh, para sa aking pamilya, para sa ibang bagay. Uh, but we'll be back Monday to Friday again next week for more sessions, more fired up coffee sessions. Now, best comment contest again. Uh, the best comment, no, you will have up to 12 midnight tonight. Ano yung the best answer sa, sa tanong na to? Why do you think we procrastinate and how can we overcome it? Again, length and usefulness of answers are the are the criteria. No? So, gawa kayo ng essay dito sa comment section. Then, I'll be reviewing it. And uh, I'm sure many will be blessed. No? So, ngayong gabi, hating gabi, I will choose finally. And there's a prize. The prize will be, I'll be sending you uh, an exclusive link to my Fired Up Life Blueprint course. So, you, you can be self-motivated. Right? So... Okay, so uh, I was mentioning the Fired Up Life Blueprint course. Currently, you know, it's at 50% off until tomorrow midnight. No, uh, Just just go to firedupcourses.com slash firedupblueprint. Then you will see my course there. What will you get there? First is I will teach you the Fired Up Mindset. Limang bagay po yan. Five signs of living a Fired Up Life. No, limang P. Then after that, I'm going to teach you the, the, blu the blueprint itself. Paano makagawa ng... Uh, passion, vision, purpose, goals, and finally your your message. So ito yung aking Fired Up Blueprint course. It's currently at 50% off. Hindi ko po binibigay usually pag ganun. Very limited time offer. So think about it. Deadline is April 24 tomorrow at midnight. All right. Okay, so we're about to... Uh, Conclude with our fired up coffee session for today. Tamang tama lang din po, no? 33 minutes. Uh, this fired up coffee session is made possible by our fired up patrons. Salamat sa mga nag-sponsor ng show na to. Uh, I call them fired up patrons kasi sila yung mga naniniwala. Uh, in fact, if you go to patreon.com slash fired up life, you will see three kinds of patrons. First is the fired up patron na believer, naniniwala sa cause, and they are giving a certain amount so that this fired up life message can be sustained. Second is fired up patron builder. Makikita nyo po, it's a, it's a higher offer. And lastly is a fired up patron blazer. And if you're a blazer, I offer once a month coaching. Okay, once a month coaching from me. Uh, either kung wala ng quarantine, we can have coffee, or online, we can have a Zoom coaching. Awesome. So be a Fired Up patron today and help me grow this Fired Up Coffee Sessions and the rest of what I'm doing in social media and uh, in the physical sense when I give talks and spread the Fired Up message. Hey, friends. Salamat. No? Salamat. And uh, I'll be waiting for your best comment no? of, of our answers to 
the questions why we procrastinate and how we can overcome it hey don't forget to share this broadcast to other people who may who may be blessed by it and please tell your friends ano na alas stress na fired up coffee sessions na because we want to maximize our quarantine time and we want to become really, really productive and one of the ways to really be productive is to get inspiration so that we can move forward maganda rin if if makapag-share kayo because of this session you were able to address the things that you're procrastinating maganda din mag-comment kay na ganun or may, you can message me uh, through uh, personal messaging hey salamat bye friends and thank you for logging on in this fired up coffee sessions kita kits bukas keep being fired up keep the passion burning